Hello and welcome to this video, where I'll show you how to configure your Ubiquiti Light Beam 5 AC Generation 2 with OpenWRT firmware. With OpenWRT, you can easily set up your device to work in dual band mode, allowing for more flexibility and customization. One great feature of OpenWRT is its ability to work in dual band mode. You can configure the 5 GHz radio as a wireless client to receive a signal from another access point, while the 2.4 GHz radio can be used to broadcast a new Wi-Fi network. Alternatively, you can also set up the 2.4 GHz radio as a wireless client and the 5 GHz radio as the access point. The possibilities are endless, and the flexibility of OpenWRT makes it easy to customize your network setup according to your needs. If your device already has OpenWRT firmware, skip ahead to the configuration section. If not, be sure to check out my video, How to Upgrade Firmware on Ubiquiti Light Beam 5 AC Generation 2 to OpenWRT in the video description below. Assuming your device is already running OpenWRT firmware, let's get started with the configuration process. But before that, please note this is for educational purposes only. We do not encourage you to attempt this without proper knowledge and training. Our intention is simply to showcase the potential capabilities of Offenrit firmware. Please proceed at your own risk and take the necessary precautions to ensure your safety and the integrity of your equipment. Our first configuration will be to connect the Ubiquiti 5 GHz band to the access point and the LAN cable to the laptop. First, open your network settings. and add this static IP address. Log into your device's OpenWRT interface by typing in its IP address into your web browser. From here, you can access the various configuration options that OpenWRT offers. If there is no password set on this router, please configure a root password to protect the web interface. Now, go to the network interface. And change the default IP address to 192.168.2.1 to avoid IP conflicts with your modem or router. Click apply and revert on connectivity loss. and then click immediately plus new tab on your browser. Type in 192.168.2.1 and press enter. Type in your password and log in again to your device. Go to Network, and then, Wireless. You should now see the Ubiquiti Light Beam 5 AC802.11 NAC 5 GHz and the Theros AR93 4800 2.11 ABM 2.4 GHz. Now click Scan to find the access point and join the network.
Check the replace wireless configuration option and type in the WPA passwords of the access point where you join the network. To ensure the best performance, change the operating frequency to auto. This will allow the device to automatically select the best channel based on the network environment and reduce interference. After that, go to advanced settings and navigate to country code. Change the driver default to AU Australia. Save and apply the changes. Then, edit the settings and set the maximum transmit power to 27 dBm. Save and apply the changes. Congratulations, you have successfully connected to the network. After completing the configuration, you can now perform a speed test. Open your web browser and navigate to a speed testing website. Now, we will create a 2.4 GHz access point. Switch to access point mode and then create an SSID. Create a password. After that, go to Advanced Settings and navigate to Country Code. Change the driver default to AU Australia. Then, edit the settings and set the maximum transmit power. Save and apply the changes. Click to enable the 2.4 GHz band. This will allow devices that only support this frequency to connect to the network and access the internet. Open network and internet settings. Disable Ethernet. And connect to the 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi. Now, let's perform another speed test to see how the network performs with the 2.4 GHz band. This will help us determine if there are any changes in speed or performance compared to using LAN.
OK, the result shows that the LAN speed is higher than the 2.4 GHz band speed. Let's configure the 2.4 GHz band in client mode. Next, let's configure the 2.4 GHz band in client mode and the 5 GHz band as the access point.
And that's it. Configuring your Ubiquiti Light Team 5 ACG N2 with OpenWRT firmware is a great way to enhance your network's capabilities and customize your setup. Thanks for watching, and be sure to check out my video, How to Upgrade Firmware on Ubiquiti Lightbeam 5 ACG EN2 to Open WRT if you haven't already. The link is in the video description below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.